So last week we looked at these pictures of Lakota ledger drawings, including these row, this row of um, women and men doing this community dance. Remember the men had the feathers in their hair and the women had the paint in their parts. So we're going to make a row of people between three and five, depending on how much time you have. And we're going to remember what we learned last time about drawing people with proper proportions. And this project is really all about observation. Observation means to actually look at something, to really notice the details. And observation drawing is to look at something and draw what you see. So we're going to start with ourselves in the middle. Remember our head, our body, we we'll make them pretty big on the page because it's easier to get the details. You can measure the head and the body. I'm going to come down. I'm going to put a dot. That's where my legs go. There are my legs. My arms start by my shoulder and come down. Sleeve goes next to the arm, across and up. Next to the body, down to the waist, across and up next to the arm, across and up, and here's my neck line. I'm going to erase my skeleton inside. Today I am wearing a skirt, so I'm going to draw down, across, and up. I can erase my skeleton inside. And I need the other side of my arm so I can color skin color inside. And my legs. Remember feet are kind of like ovals. Make them a little like a corner here on this part of the oval. I can go back and do that here. Instead of so round I get just a little bit of a point. Looks more like a foot. I can also erase that dot that I made. I need a neck, eyes, oval eyes, circle inside. I'll add the black part when I use my color pencil. Nose, just like we did with the face. I'm feeling kind of serious right now, so I'm going to make a serious face. Ears, and I'll wait to do the hair until I have my colored pencils. I don't have super pencil colored hair. All right, now, I'm wearing a dress that has, I don't know if you can see, it's got green with dots on the skirt. They're very light green dots. They're almost yellow, so I think I'll use some yellow. It's gonna be hard to do them exactly like on my dress, but I'll do the best I can. They kind of go with circles, so I'm gonna draw my yellow dots kind of in circles. Sometimes you can't see the whole thing because it goes off the side and around the corner. So I'm going to draw those yellow dots of circles, or circles of dots. You might have stripes or you might have basketballs or something else on yours. And then, I'm not sure which color green is going to work best. Nope, that one's a little too dark, so I'm going to get out this lighter green. There we go. And I'm going to do the green around. So far, I'm going to kind of pretend there's like a circle around my dots. I'll make it easier to color in if I kind of draw that circle that my dots make, and I color the green parts around. And then I can go in between those dots in a minute. All the way to my edges. And I just take the green and kind of go in between. And it doesn't get quite all the way filled in, but that's okay. There's a little bit of the yellow kind of still or paper around the yellow. 
I do the best I can. You can see I'm getting in between there pretty well. I can go back then, and if there's any, whoops, white left, there's the yellow. You can fill in the white with some more yellow. So it's not too white. All right, and then my skirt of my dress, you can see it has green and blue. So I'm gonna take the green as wavy lines of green. So I'm gonna take green and make some wavy lines, wavy lines, wavy lines, wavy lines. Take the other green, because I had more than one green. So I'm gonna add some more wavy lines and they overlapped a little bit. And then the green went this way. And the other color green this way. And that had a blue in between. So I could take my blue and kind of go in between. Oh. Might have to sharpen that. It's not really drawing today. Throw that in the trash. Fill in the blue around the green as best I can. And then I'm going to add some more people. So I looked at my husband earlier today. He had his blue shorts and his red shirt on. I need to go back and add my skin color, but we're going to start by oops, adding my husband because he's the other person in my house. He's not much taller than me. Measure there. Legs are going to come down to here and here and his arms like this and his shirt comes down across up next to his arm down to his waist and across up next to his body, down, across, and up, and comes around here. He has a shirt that has a polo shirt, so I'm gonna make those collars. It's like two triangles here, and that has buttons. And he has his blue short, so it goes down, across, and up, next to his leg, next to his leg, down, across, and up, and erase this skeleton in here. Add his rest of his leg and his feet, other side of his arm and his hand. He was wearing his inside sandal slippers that have straps like this. See, I make him curvy to go around the foot, and then here's the part that goes underneath. His neck and his eyes, his nose. He was smiling and talking, so I'm gonna make his mouth a little bit open, his ears. Now when I draw his hair, his skin is a little bit lighter than my skin, so I'm gonna color him in with this color. Notice how I go over the mouth too, because I don't want to make the lips too pink or too red. It looks a little eerie there with no, no color in his eyes yet. His sandals are, his slipper sandals are black. I'll need some black in a minute. And his eyes are kind of blue-green. So I'm gonna find like a light blue. Or actually they're more blue-gray. Mine are the green ones. So a little bit of blue, a little bit of gray. Black right in the middle. Black for his sandals.
curves help you see the shape of the foot. And then his hair is getting kind of long, but not as long as mine, so I'm going to give him his hair here. It doesn't, for my hair, I do it bigger off the top of my head. I make it like kind of fluffier. And you see how I make it taller than my head? Because my hair is kind of puffier and fluffier. His hair, I keep it closer to his head. And then he has a beard and mustache. And they're a little bit brown. And they're a lot gray. So I'm going to put in, he's actually hasn't had his beard trimmed since pandemic started. So it's getting pretty long. So there we go. You can see his beard little pink on each of our lips so they look more like lips and the part of his mouth that is open I'm gonna get this like dark mahogany brown I'm gonna or mahogany kind of dark red and put it in there I need some green on my eyes because they're looking a little funny here with nothing and my eyeball And I need to finish my skin tone. Lightly with the brown. I'm actually barefoot today. So I'm not gonna add shoes. I might add some toes. And I said he had on his blue shorts. Now, what if you want navy blue? Because you're like, my blue is dark blue. It doesn't look like that. Don't worry. I'll show you how in just a minute. Do the blue first. And then on top, you'll put some black. Not too much. Don't push it too hard. But you let them mix together, and it starts to look navy. And like a darker bl blue. If it gets too dark, sometimes if you go back and put a little blue on top, it helps it feel more blue again. Like that. Okay, and I said he had a red shirt on today. So I'm going to color those triangles. I'm actually going to color them in like separately so they stay looking kind of triangly. And then color the rest of his shirt in red. All right, so you're going to look around at some people. There's not a person sitting in the same room with you. You can quick go take a look and come back. If there's not someone else, enough people in your house to keep going, then you can maybe look at a picture, a photograph uh, that you have of people that you know. But you're gonna keep going and you're gonna have between three and five people in your row. If you have time, before class ends, then you could uh, draw some more if there's space. So I'm going to keep going while you keep going, but I'm not going to talk the whole time. I'll let you be able to focus, but I'll show you my picture when I get it done. This is going to be my son. He needs arms before we leave. My son is, an, is a grown-up, so arm sleeve goes down next to his arm across, uh, next to his arm going up, shirt goes down next to his body, across his waist, next to his body up, 
next to the arm, across and up. And he has on shorts too, but his are khaki brown. The other side of his leg and his feet. Whoop. And his hand and the other side of his arm and his hand and his neck, eyes in the middle of the head, nose, mouth, ears. Oh my gosh, I forgot glasses on my husband and I. I'll erase my son's skeleton, add glasses. Mine are red. And my husband husband's glasses are kind of a blue gray, a dark blue gray. There we go. Now if you ever meet him, you'll know what he looks like. I think he looks more handsome in real life than I drew him. Okay, keep going. Can't wait to see your pictures. I have three, two and a half. I need to add this one. I have room. I can add another one. 